Welcome to CFC Fan TV. We are here to preview our huge game against Bournemouth and this video is brought to you by Fan League. Make sure that you enter the Fan League app. You can join our league. We're playing in it and you can see how you get on against us. You could also win £1,000. All you have to do is go on to the Facebook page that belongs to Fan League, like the pin post and get two of your friends to sign up. Could win a grand. Welcome to CFC Fan TV. I'm joined by Charlie, the Hurricane Skillen, for our Bournemouth preview. How are you feeling about this one? I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to a nice day down the south coast. It's nice weather, which I didn't think it was going to be in October. And I fully expect a confident Chelsea win to kind of banish all this crisis talk once and for all. The crisis talk is nonsense though, isn't it? We are not in a crisis. There's not even Absolutely a whisper not. of a crisis around Stamford Bridge. We're in the top four. We're a few points behind third, but second and third Tottenham and Man United are playing each other this weekend. So, you know, if we win, we're capitalised. Time yeah, to capitalise. Exactly, exactly. And the way to do that is Bournemouth have struggled this season. It's been probably their worst, I don't know, it's statistically true, but it's, it's overall you get the feeling it's been their worst start since they've moved up into the top flight under Eddie Howe. And I think two, I, I thought we played very well against Everton. We struggled at times against Watford, but the team did very well to pull it back. And a confident win against Bournemouth, I think, would really kind of galvanise the team going into the kind of yeah, Christmas period. I absolutely agree. I mean, I often get slated for being far too optimistic and I'm not putting an, an overly positive spin on this. But right. the facts are, against Watford, we didn't play particularly well, but we ended up winning with what is a convincing scoreline. 4-2 yeah. is pretty, pretty, it's pretty emphatic. Hard, it's pretty hard to complain after any 4-2 exactly, win. Exactly, a 4-2 win. And equally, we played against Everton with a weakened team and dominated the play apart from perhaps a dodgy 10-minute spell. But generally yeah. speaking, they were two very good victories. We are not in a crisis, regardless of what happens at Bournemouth, and I think we'll win there. I'm not saying it's going to be an easy place to go, you know, down at the Vitality, where we are currently standing. Oh, yeah. Um, it's going to be tough there. Of course it is. A night game, tight, compact ground. They're going to be up for it. They need the points. Yeah. But everything I've seen in the last two games suggests that Chelsea can win this game. Yeah, look, the, I mean, the whole... After taking a bit of a battering from all... From everyone after kind of three was it three defi three defeats on the spin? Yes. Um, the whole club seemed to have kind of rallied round a bit. Conte was very very bullish in his press conference about his future and his relationship with the players. Obviously, we've seen those kind of stories rear their head over the last few weeks. Um, and, and he was he came out kind of all guns blazing in front of the media on Friday, going, you know, this is a load of uh, mm. this is a load of rubbish. Um, and you know. I, I, Every game you see the crowd behind Conte. I think I think you can see the players, especially in a game like Everton, where there's where there's players who haven't maybe got the chance that they would have liked all yeah. the time. And and Watford as well, like an out of favour player like Batshuayi, um, basically winning the game for for Chelsea. We know he hasn't had the easiest and time under they Conte. They are two tough fixtures. They're two tough fixtures. Watford yeah. Watford um, are a side in the ascendancy. But they were above well, us in the league. Absolutely, time, yeah. they, they, but they come off the they come off a very good result against Arsenal. It yeah. was a very tough time to be playing them. Equally, Everton were resurgent. At least yeah. there was an air of resurgency around the club. You know, they yeah. got rid of the man they wanted. Uh, they wanted Koeman out. They got him out. Yeah. They wanted Unsworth in. They got him in. It yeah. felt like it was a bad time to be playing Everton. Um, and that well, was a that was I a definitive victory. I thought we'd probably lose the game going in on Wednesday. I was honest. worried. I felt yeah. like there was potential for an upset, if you call it that. <laughs> um, so I certainly don't subscribe to this issue of you know whatever people are calling it crisis no. and things like that. So. I'm not, you know, I'm not there, but I do think that it's a must-win game down at 100%. Bournemouth, and I think we can. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Look, I mean, any any Chelsea versus Bournemouth game, we know who's going into it as the favourite, and these are the sort of games against, you know, lower, if you like, opposition that we really need to be picking up the points in because who we got the week after? We got Manchester United, which is going to be, yeah. you know, and all a small matter of Rome away in between. Well, of course, yeah. I mean, that, that is. They're both huge games. Uh, by the way, listen the to this. Season, listen to this amount of dedication on display from the Hurricane <laughs> himself. It's going to Bournemouth. You can't get home from Bournemouth. So any, if you're not watching this in England, you, it's impossible to get from Bournemouth to London, London on a direct ridiculous. train because of the late kickoff. Yeah. So Charlie has got a hotel in Bournemouth. He's yeah. staying the night there, flying from Bournemouth. No, Gatwick. flying from Gatwick. Gatwick. So the next morning, waking up, flying, driving to Gatwick. Flying direct to Rome. So basically, when you head off to Bournemouth, that's me you done. won't go home. You won't London, go to your own house for how long? That's London's had its fill of me till Thursday then. <laughs> that's, <laughs> all, that's all it's getting. Very um, impressive. Yeah, I'm like, looking forward to that. That'd be, be great. I mean, I'm very of, envious, but I've, it's I've, mental. I've never done the touristy bits of Rome, so I'm kind of looking forward to the Colosseum and all that nonsense on yeah. Monday morning and then... 
Nonsense. No. One of the wonders of the world. Nonsense. Well, yeah. Trevi Fountain, I've heard as well. Very, yeah, it's a good beautiful one. thing. I hope yeah. someone slings you in it. I hope an ultra <laughs> slings you in it. Um, <laughs> they wouldn't dare. <laughs> so, I suppose you should pick a team. Our team for the game against Bournemouth is up now. Charlie, talk us through it. Are you happy here? Yeah, I think so. I think, I mean, for me, at the minute, Christensen kind of has to start. He's, he, he, he's been fantastic. He was... I think he was probably our best player on the pitch against Everton in midweek. Not easy either. No, that, no, no. Uh, Calvert-Lewin's a handful when he came on. When he came on, yeah, yeah. He, he, he is. I mean, I don't know why they haven't played him more, Everton, actually. But, so I think, I think he should regain his place. I feel a bit bad for Rudiger missing out. I mean, I, I'm not one of these people that goes on Twitter and thinks that, you know, Gary Cahill is the reason for all the world's ills. Mm -hmm. But... I don't think he's playing his best football. I think he was kind of one of the weakest players on the pitch in the last two games. Personally, I probably wouldn't be picking him, but I think Conte will because, you know, he's the captain and you kind of need that leadership in the side. I think we'll see David Luiz back. I think Bakayoko looked like he needed a rest against Watford and I expect him to part, uh, drink water in midfield. Nice. And, it's, and William keeps his place? Uh, no, no, I think it'll be. I think Hang it'll on, be. I'll cut it out. Yeah. Hang on, just give me one sec. I just need no talking for a sec because I need to find a silent bit. And um, Pedro, I think, was, was his, his goal against Watford was excellent, wasn't it? But actually, I did very well, actually, I thought, against Everton. Um, but Morata will come back and obviously Eden Hazard. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice team, it's a strong team, and one that I think Bournemouth will not be able to cope with. Nah, they haven't got a chance. <laughs> they haven't got, got a chance. Well, you heard on, it here from the Hurricane. Hang on, I better be careful. I mean, someone, so, another Chelsea right, fan's going to no, make no, you go no, viral. No, 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 oh, no, man. No. I, by the way, if the guy who did that is watching this video, if Bournemouth happen to turn this around against yeah. Chelsea and get the result that we hope they don't, do that to him. Get that clip out there. Um, anything else we need to discuss or are we just feeling very confident about this one? Um, Bournemouth, look, how are we feeling about them? Have they got anything that can give us a, do us a mischief? Well, they, they've got some very good players. Um, none less than Nathan Ake, of course. Um, Conte was asked about him in his Friday press conference and kind of made it clear that getting rid of Ake wasn't really his decision. It was mm. more a club thing. So Things like this upset me massively. Yeah, absolutely. Same here. So he'll be no doubt out to prove a point. Um, and Jermaine Defoe, he's, he's probably not had the, had the start that I would have thought at Bournemouth. I mean, I know he's getting on a bit, but he's one of the strikers in the league that kind of I never feel safe against. Yeah, so. I agree. There we have it. I really hope that you enjoyed this preview. Comment below, let us know how you're feeling about it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do it right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One more thing to discuss. Go on. Our fan league choices. How right. are you feeling about it? Yeah, look, I mean, I was pretty confident last time I did it. I'll back myself again. We did terribly, Charlie. We got four. Out of what? 13. Whoa. So we have to up like one of my Everybody's laughing cool. at us. Flav from the Fighting Cock, the Tottenham fan, is laughing at us. Everybody is laughing at us. We have to do better. All right. Okay, so this week I've gone for, uh, my selections are up now, but as you can see, I've gone for a Chelsea win. Yeah, Confident? Absolutely. Um, I also That's one right there, one out of 13. Yeah, well look, <laughs> my selections are up now, so you can see them. Let me know what you think, and make sure that you click in the description, use that link, and yeah, join our league, and I will see you over there. Go on, you blues. Fuck, that's such a mishmash. That is going to take me about three hours. To, 